Atheism has nothing to do with philosophy, with science, and with reason. I repeat, atheism has nothing to do with philosophy, with science, or with reason. Atheism is about psychology. Atheism is about emotions. Atheism is about spirituality. We have to understand that the concept of God is a necessary concept as we believe in our tradition in the concept of the fitrah. We know the fitrah comes from the root that shares the same root with words such as fatrun and fatarahu that Allah has created something within us to acknowledge Him and to worship Him. So the idea of the belief in God is a natural belief to the point that the question shouldn't be why God but the question should be what reasons do you have to reject God because it's part of our own nature as we see in the hadith in Sahih Muslim where the Prophet wasallam said every child is born in this state, in this natural state but it is society, his parents and his upbringing that deviate him away from this natural state and this natural straight brothers and sisters is confirmed by reality itself. For example, if we look into the works of sociologists like the evolutionary, evolutionist sociologist Professor Justin Barrett, he did a study on children and he came to the conclusion that even if you have atheist children and you put them on a desert island, they're going to believe in God. Also, if you look into, for example, key works in psychology, you have the psychologist who studies religion. Her name is Olivera Petrovich. She has a journal and she discusses that the natural psychological state of the human being is to actually acknowledge God. And actually atheism is, has to be forced on the psyche, on the soul, on the mind of a human being. So from this perspective, we have reality in line with what the Prophet ﷺ told us many, many years ago, that the concept of God is a natural concept. 